Hey there, my beautiful Capricorns. This is Renee, and welcome back. Capricorn, this is going to be your May reading, so we'll get right into it. We're going to take a look at what's going on in your love and relationships, and also in your money. And we're going to get what's challenging you in the month of May and get some advice. Okay? Um, I'll go ahead and pull your fortune oracle, and I will read the extended meaning at the end, so stay tuned. Where I also uh, pull your angel number as usual. So stay tuned, okay? Okay, we have make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Okay, let's take a look at your money. What's going on in with Capricorn in May 2023? What's going on with Capricorn, May 2023? Okay, we have, don't let the past hold you back. Okay, that's the South Node. At the bottom, we also have emotions running high, the super moon. You know, so your emotions may be a little all over the place right now, Capricorn. Okay, so let's go ahead and get your angels. Take a look at what's going on for Capricorn. Um, you know what to do. Archangel Urel, trust your inner knowledge and act upon it without delay. Okay? So what I'm feeling with that is to trust your intuition. I feel like your intuition is telling you exactly what you need to do in your situations. But you just need to recognize and pay attention to what your intuition is telling you. And I feel like, you know, with this make the effort and don't let the past hold you back, I feel like there's some kind of blockage when it comes to listening to that intuition, listening to that inner voice, okay? We also have remember who you are. Archangel Michael, you are powerful, loving, creative child of God. You are very loved, okay? So I feel like the spirits are letting you know that you're loved and cared for, my beautiful Capricorn. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at your love message. What's going on with my beautiful Capricorns for the month of May when it comes to love and relationships? What's going on with Capricorn? When it comes to love and relationships. Okay. Messages for Capricorn. Okay. So we have the overall energy. The Ten of Cups. I'm liking that. The Two of Wands. Wanted to pop out. We have the uh, Hermit card. Excuse me, the uh, Hierophant. And we have the Four of Cups in reverse. And one more spirit. One more card for Capricorn. Okay, the Three of Cups. So there's some kind of support. You know, um... With this Three of Cups energy, this could be someone that you're connecting to, someone that you're really thinking very strongly about. You know, if this is a new connection, this is someone who's bringing a lot of attraction to the table, right? This is someone who you may be connecting with for the first time in May. So this is something new. But I feel like, you know, your mind is really wandering when it comes to this person. So you're really thinking about this person a lot. You know, you're choosing to be happy because I feel like, you know, there's been a lot of things that have been on your mind lately. It could be some kind of situation, some kind of relationship that you're already in with this Hierophant um, energy. Um, but I feel like, you know, you're really thinking a lot about your situation. There's some planning that you're doing. Okay. And it could be that you're planning something special for the special someone. Uh, with this Hierophant being here, you could be planning a marriage, planning some kind of celebration, you know, or just 
putting in the effort to do something special. Okay. Um, actually, what I'm getting with this and the Four of Pentacles on the bottom is there may be someone who's being very possessive. Okay. And I feel like you're trying to move past that energy. You're trying to move past that energy. Wow, changes. The Six of Wands in reverse. The Nine of Swords. The Star in reverse. And the Lover's card. You're making choices in the month of May. You're making a lot of choices. You're making some important decisions in the month of May. And I feel like you're choosing to be happy. You're choosing to have some sort of new connection. Okay? So actually, my beautiful Capricorns, and this isn't going to resonate with all of you, but I feel like you're leaving some kind of commitment behind. There's something that you're very committed to. It could be the person that you're with in a relationship. It could be a marriage. Um, but I feel like you're, you're moving past that energy. Although you don't want things to change, I feel like there's a lot of reluctance here. You know, you're having a lot of sadness. But you're choosing this happiness. You're choosing to be happy. Because we're going from the Four of Pentacles in reverse, the Six of Wands in reverse, the Tower in reverse, to the Nine of Swords in the upright, the Star in reverse, to the Lovers. Right? So I feel like, you know, there's some pain that you're going through. We have the Two of Swords as well. So this is some hard choices that you're making in the month of May. We're going to go ahead and clarify more um, in a minute. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what is going on with Capricorn's money and finances. What's going on with Capricorn's money and finances? Okay, so we have the King of Swords in reverse. Hmm. Okay, we have the Hermit. Okay, the Five of Pentacles in reverse. The Moon card. And the Lovers in reverse. Okay. At the bottom, we have the Ten of Swords. This is a lot of energy that's ending, right? I feel like you've been in hermit mode when it comes to your finances. You could be spending time alone. You could be really soul searching when it comes to getting things right. Um, and I feel like you're having a hard time getting things right, okay? Um, but I feel like you understand that approved improvements need to be made. There needs to be some recovery. And I feel like you're getting that recovery. Um, but it's not going to be without any determination. Okay. We have the, the Knight of Swords in reverse. So I feel like you, you really don't know where to start when it comes to your finances. You may need to look into it. You may need to do the research. Um, but I feel like you are trying to figure out the right thing to do when it comes to your finances. You may you may have a lot of fear or a lot of confusion when it comes to your finances. Okay? And I feel like if that's the case, I mean, you may need to seek some kind of help in your situation. Now, with this lover's reverse, I feel like this financial situation, this big shakeup is due to some kind of breakup that you're having in your love life. It's due to some kind of breakup, some kind of divorce, some kind of conflict that you're having. Maybe you're overspending because, you know, something is going on in your life. There's something ending, right? You're becoming more independent. You are spending more time alone. And we have the Page of Wands here. Look how the Page of Wands looks. You know, he doesn't look very happy. You know, and we have the Five of Wands. Conflict. 
spending more time with yourself, taking better care of yourself, you know? And I feel like that's exactly what's going on. I, you, you may be kind of spending more money on yourself because you need to take care of yourself. Does that make sense? So maybe the other person that you were with really helped you with your finances. They helped keep things together. Okay. Um, oh, what is going on with my with my Capricorns this month? It's crazy. The month of May is going to have its challenges. We'll go ahead and take a look at your challenge in a moment. But I feel like you're kind of in between this feeling of freedom and truly having the ability to explore where you're going to go next, right? And I, I feel like you may really not even know where you're going to go next, what you're going to do next. Um, it could be that you have a job that's ending, a job that closed, okay? Um, we're going to go ahead and clarify in just a moment. First of all, let's go ahead and get your challenge. What's going on for Capricorn in the month of May? Let's get your challenge. Okay, the sun in reverse. So there's a lot of things. You're, you're choosing happiness, but you're not really feeling happy. Okay? So I, I, I see that's where your challenge lies. You know, you may be thinking that making more money, finding stability is going to bring you more happiness. And in a way it might. Okay? Because I feel like that's what you're looking for. You're looking for something that is going to bring you more stability. Something that you don't have to um, put as much work into. You don't feel very defensive about. You do have this Knight of Cups at the bottom. The Knight of Pentacles at the bottom. And the Emperor. Ooh, the Empress too. Counterparts. Okay. Uh, so I feel like if something is ending for you, I feel like there is a new beginning. There is a new counterpart for you. Um, this is a major love connection with the Emperor and the Empress, or it can be. You know, so where one thing ends, I feel like you have several offers for a new beginning, right? Um, you have several offers to start over. But first, we need to work past this challenge, work past this negative energy that's coming through. Because that's what the sun reversed is. This could be a period of sadness or negative energy that you're just trying very hard to move past. Right? And I feel like you're trying very hard to find that security, that stability with that Queen of Pentacles energy. That's what you're yearning for. You're yearning for that, that stability. And although you feel very overwhelmed, I feel like there's definitely some kind of offer of help for you that's coming in with this Knight of Cups energy. You know, this is being able, someone's bringing you an offer, okay? Someone is offering you their cup here. Someone may give you some kind of good advice with this Knight of Pentacles energy. You know, um, this could also be an offer when it comes to um, being putting in the hard work. Okay. But I feel, okay, this is the message that I'm getting. When it comes to this emperor and this empress energy, I feel like Capricorn, there's an opportunity here, okay? You're getting an opportunity, but I feel like it's an opportunity to take responsibility for the situation that got you to this place, okay? If it's 
if it's a breakup, if it's a divorce, if it is moving past this energy um, that's bringing you into this financial loss. I feel like, you know, Spirit is letting you know it's time to take accountability of your... Um, of your actions that put you into this process okay we have the emperor and the empress but um like i said i feel like there's offers here for you to make things right okay so let's go ahead and we're going to go ahead and remove these and we'll go ahead and clarify for you real quick Okay, so Spirit, give me a message. Why is the Two of Wands and the Hierophant here? Why is the Two of Wands and the Hierophant here? Give me a message. Why is the Two of Wands and the Hierophant here? The Devil in Reverse. This is your card, Capricorn. And I feel like you need to release yourself from energy. There's some kind of offer that's being taken back. Someone's kind of... Someone's releasing you from a situation, okay? So I feel like someone's walking away from a situation. And I feel like it, it may be very heartbreaking, okay? Um... With this Knight of Cups, I feel like this puts you into a lot of negative energy. You know, it brings a lot of moodiness. And I feel like there's a need for you to set yourself free from all that negative energy. That's the reason why we have the Devil in Reverse. The Devil in Reverse is being restored, restoring the control, right? And releasing that negative energy you know, that bondage being broken, okay? So there's some kind of bondage that needs to be broken. You know, you need to release yourself from that energy, okay? Why is the devil in reverse and the knight of cups in reverse? Give me a message. The Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, you are trying very hard to be happy in your situation. You're trying very hard not to be insecure, fear, fearful. You know, we have the Nine of, of Swords in reverse. So you're trying very hard because you're choosing happiness, remember. You're choosing happiness. So, you know, there's a lot of negativity that's surrounding you. And it, and it may be all in your mind, um, my beautiful Capricorn. But I, I feel like releasing that energy is going to bring a lot of situations that are going to be better. You do have this tower moment. So there are going to be unexpected changes that are happening for you. Okay. There are going to be, um, there is going to be unexpected changes in May. But the card of the tower can also mean freedom. And I feel like it's freedom from conflict. Maybe you've had a lot of conflict in the past month. You know, there's been a lot of things going on. We have the Five of Swords and the Five of Wands. Five, five, that's struggle, right? Pure struggle. So I feel like things are changing. You're moving past the energy. Why is the Tower and the Five of Swords here? Give me a message. The Two of Cups in reverse. Yeah, there's definitely something ending. But I feel like with this Eight of Swords energy, you're protecting your energy, okay? But I feel like you are kind of having this inner battle, right? The, the Eight of Swords, this is a prison of your mind, you know? And I feel like there's so many thoughts behind it. Why is the Two of Cups in reverse? Why is the Two of Cups in Reverse? So we have the Two of Cups in Reverse and the Lovers in Reverse. You know? The Ace of Cups in Reverse. Wow. And the Two of Pentacles. It's just a matter of time. You're weighing your options. 
you're weighing your options, Capri Capricorn, because I feel like, you know, there's something that's ending for you. There's some kind of relationship, some kind of friendship that's ending, and you're in your feelings about the situation, but you're like weighing your options, what to do next. Where do you go next? You know, what is your next path, right? And I feel like that's what's putting yourself into this mental prison because you're thinking so strongly about how this is going. So let's take a look at your finances. <clears throat> Why is the Hermit in the Five of Pentacles in reverse? Why is the Hermit in the Five of Pentacles in reverse? Okay, the Seven of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles of swords in reverse. So you you want something to be restored. You're putting in the effort to restore something. You're putting in a lot of work. You know, there's something that you've been waiting for that you've been waiting to be rewarded on. And you know, you're looking for that restoration, but I feel like you're waiting. You know, why is the seven of pentacles here and the three of swords in reverse? The King of Swords in Reverse and the Page of Wands. Yeah, you're definitely waiting for something to happen, my beautiful Capricorn. You're waiting for something to happen. And I feel like... You're feeling very weak, you know? And I feel with this King of Swords in Reverse, I feel like... You know, you're not using your words to their full capabilities. You're trying to manipulate the situation, you know. And, you know, that may not be the best strategy when it comes to your finances. You can't really manipulate the situation. And I feel like in this situation, it's bringing a lot of anger. It's bringing a lot of bitterness. Okay, because there's something that you're working on, something that you're waiting for that hasn't come through yet and you just want to be restored in your situation okay um yeah there may be a lot of procrastinating that you're doing so that may be something that you really need to take notice of my lovely capricorn stop procrastinating just get it done okay why is the moon and the lovers in reverse Give me a message for the moon and the lovers in reverse. Okay, the king of cups in reverse. And the ten of swords. Something's definitely ending, you know. And I feel like it has you all in your feelings. Um, You're deep in your feelings here, Capricorn. You know, there's a lot of coldness. You know, a lot of manipulation because something that is ending in May or something that needs to end. Okay, let me stop saying something that's ending. Something that needs to end, right? Um, I feel like there, with this Ten of Swords here that there's a lot of the Ten of Swords is right on top of the Lovers reversed. So there's a lot of bad energy here. You know, there's a lot of heartbreak. Um, I feel like someone may have backstabbed you. Someone really did you wrong. Someone may have really deceived you. And it's left you, you know, wanting to take that last stand. Wanting to, you know, put up your fight and weigh your options here. You know, you have the Emperor in reverse and the nine, and the Eight of Swords. You know, so you're putting up these walls. And you're trying to figure out where you can gain your control at. Where's your control coming in at? Because you don't feel it at the moment. You know, there's just chaos and anger in the month of May. So, I, I really... Oh, I'm sorry, Capricorn. Um... We had the Nine of Cups, so 
I feel like, you know, this is just going to be This is just going to be a time we have the Three of Pentacles. You're going to get the support that you need, Capricorn. I feel like things are going to work out. Look at this. We have the Temperance Blessings. You're waiting for blessings. Those blessings are coming. You're going to get the answers that you need. The Ace of Cups. You know, someone's coming in to support you. Someone's coming in to show you that love and support and help you get back on your feet to, you know, really turn the situation around. Yeah, the Knight of Cups. There's some kind of offer that's being made to you. Some kind of new venture, new passion. Um, it may be a new job that's coming forward for you. Something that's going to bring you more stability. Okay? So just hang tight, my lovely Capricorn, because things are going to improve. There, there is going to be a lot of struggle ahead, though. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. You know, the, the May... The first part is going to be full of struggle, so you need to be aware so that you can, you know, go ahead and do what you need to do, right? Okay, your fortune oracle card is birth. Universal energy brings you opportunity and possibilities. What did I tell you? New birth. You know, things are going to start to work out for you. But I feel like these endings have to, have to happen for this newness to come back in. Okay, so let's go ahead and get your extended message for number four. Birth. Okay, this card, which represents new possibilities and opportunities for transformation, is a chance to start over as you enter a new phase of your life. It can symbolize the birth of a child, a new idea or project, or even a new you. Reinventing yourself with fresh attitude, new hobbies, even new diet will be positive. In fact, anything you start is likely to be successful now as the universal energy sweeps through a different journey in of your life is about to start. For relationships. A brand new love affair could start soon and a new family members could arrive through births and marriages. Your personal life is growing and expanding, but there will be many personal responsibilities you will need to take care of as a result. This card also offers reassurance for those struggling with relationships, self-doubt, fertility issues as personal upheavals are being let go of or solved. Okay, for money, this could be the card of creation. The start of a fresh business is likely. New jobs are exciting. And it can be a time of action career-wise. The opportunities are now in your hands. The timing for fresh projects is perfect as they can be giving your full attention. Listen to what your heart is telling you which direction you are being drawn to. You know your true passion in life and by listening and acting on your instincts, you can plant the seeds for a positive new life chapter. It is time to kick those major goals. Be proud of what you will achieve. Okay, your power tip. The pineapple is a universal sign of hospitality and friendship. Place a pineapple or its symbol or picture in the home to welcome transformation and experience pure joy and bliss. Okay, so that is your um, fortune oracle. So new birth. I'm liking it. Okay, after a time of struggle, you have new opportunities new blessings okay and let's get your angel number okay we have one two three four persistence keep going you have completed a task that is in alignment with your soul's journey the divine is letting you know that it sees you 
and all of your persistence is paying off. You are being acknowledged. In your affirmation, I take steps to stay in alignment with my soul's journey and I reap the rewards of my persistence. Okay, my beautiful Capricorn, that is your reading. So if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. And if it doesn't, take a look at your other placements. They may be uh, new messages in there for you. And until your next reading, my beautiful Capricorn, many blessings to you. Love and light.